It's always interesting to think about Shine for Education and myself. As much as I'd like to say Shine for Education is a huge team, which it is, a lot of it does start with my own personal experiences. Growing up in Fresno, seeing my friends getting locked up, pass away, it made me very depressed at a very young age. At age 13, I first attempted to kill myself. Going through something like that, it made me reflect on what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. I realized there was more people who were struggling just like me. And I figured out one thing that really helped me were uh, after school programs. And that's where it started. First, uh, I started with what I knew, which was robotics. Then I understood that not everyone is going to be into robotics so the same way everyone isn't into sports. So I branched off from robotics into media productions, creative writing, uh, subject by subject to giving every student I could possibly find an opportunity to get into something new, not only build a career for them in the future like I did, but just give them the time to be themselves, give themselves a creative outlet that I know that if I had at a younger age, I'd be even more further along than I am right now. Hi, my name is Elijah Hernandez. I am the founder of Shine for Education, a local nonprofit dedicated to the creation of after school programs with a focus on project based curriculum. It's a very long story. So, I grew up in Fresno, but I actually went to school in Clovis. Uh, my family moved out from Selma all the way out here uh, to give me better educational opportunities. I grew up going from elementary all the way to high school, seeing a lot of kids fall into bad habits bad experiences while I was able to take advantage of what I had over in Clovis Unified. I had a chance to recollect on my own experiences and decided why not give kids the same opportunity I had and bring that back home. So that started with, uh, at the age of 16, making my first educational programs focusing on robotics. So in between that time all the way to when I was in senior year, I got the opportunity to teach over 1,000 children uh, the basics of STEM, science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Uh, ultimately, the, the ball just kept on rolling. Uh, one moment, I was just teaching kids in the, the halls of high school classes to then getting invited to teach 7,000 miles away out in the villages of Laos. A week after, I would end up being invited to present to former Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, Jerry Brown the one millionth solar panel ever made in California. I think we should all stand up, give a round of applause to Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger for the million solar roof. That ended up just being the sign for me to take it to the next level. Here I am now pursuing it as a career, uh, teaching not just at schools anymore, but at foster homes, daycares, uh, understanding that Education isn't just in the confines of a classroom. Education is everything. Education is everywhere. After teaching about 100 kids in Laos, I understood that impact is shown in more ways than one. I was teaching educational workshops here locally, but after going to Laos, understanding the conditions these students were going through, um, not even having shoes, not having meals to eat, seeing literal blood and bone in the streets, I understood that I needed to make a bigger difference in my community. Even if one of the students participating in one of our programs doesn't want to pursue that career for the rest of their lives, at least they have a tangible skill that'll help them get into a good program, into college. I have students who volunteered through my program that used our organization and our programs as the tickets to get them into UC Santa Cruz, Duke University. Uh, I want to be able to spread that kind of impact more, uh, making sure not only do they get experiences that they remember for the rest of their lives, they get skills that also follow them for the rest of their lives. It's interesting to think about my own success in the context of my entire family. Uh, not so long ago, my great-grandpa was working in a raisin farm, picking raisins. I used to help him as a little kid pick raisins in that same farm. And when he wasn't doing that, he was working in engineering shops, trying to build parts, getting minimum wage. Then you go to my grandparents, who were also in that same exact situation. Uh, fast forward, we were able to get from Kingsburg and Selma area to Fresno, 
going from farmers to CEOs, uh, all in a matter of four generations, the, the American dream, it, it's funny to think about, this is an instant success. This might be the first time you ever heard of me, but trust me, my family has been here laying it down brick by brick in the Central Valley, just so one of us could get a spotlight just like this.